how easy is it to buy the right solar inverter for your panels. Choosing the wrong inverter can lead to a poor ownership experience and even cost you thousands of dollars. With 10 years in the solar industry, I think I can share some details you'll find helpful and even one simple thing you could do to prevent ugly surprises. But first, let's get started with what an inverter does and what type of options you can expect to come across. While many inverter brands are available, there are only three different types. All three options do the same thing, convert solar power into usable electricity. That would be DC to AC. Solar panels without an inverter would be like a car without a transmission. The engine may rev, but the power wouldn't reach your wheels. Your string inverter is the first inverter type and the granddaddy of them all. This string inverter works by putting several panels into one string to work in tandem and generate electricity. Depending on the number of solar panels your system consists of, you will likely only need one or two inverters for all panels. The next inverter type is the optimized string inverter. Like your regular string inverter, this option may let you get away with only needing one inverter for the entire system depending on the solar panel count. What makes the string inverter optimized is a little gadget placed under the solar panel enabling each panel to function individually and not rely on the tandem effect or group effect of all the panels in the rest of the string. And wouldn't you know it, this gadget is called an optimizer. The last inverter is what is known as a microinverter. As the name implies, the microinverter shrinks the single inverter into this tiny little device under each panel. Typically, you have one microinverter per panel, though there are some options where you have one inverter for every two panels. Unlike string inverters, a microinverter solution converts DC solar power into AC power at the panel source on your roof or wherever the panel is installed. If you're still with me, go ahead and blink twice because next we'll get into the pros and cons of each inverter type available on the market. This is where you will start forming an opinion about a better fit for your solar panel system. The science of it all suggests you compare output power, efficiency, voltage, warranty, and cost but most people base their opinion on warranty and cost. Don't get me wrong, efficiency is important, but inverters nowadays vary only marginally in efficiency levels, typically less than 1%. A common question is about warranties, and rightfully so. Without a functional inverter, you may as well not have solar panels. Most string or optimized inverters offer a 10 to 12 year warranty, extendable up to 25 years. The catch is that even with an extended warranty of 25 years on a string or optimized inverter, if your inverter fails, the whole system will be offline and you'll be back to buying power from the utility grid. Now, replacing an inverter is a quick job, perhaps an hour or two. However, you have to wait for the installer to diagnose the problem, turn in a ticket with a manufacturer, then wait on shipment to arrive and finally have the work scheduled. All the while, you're buying power from the expensive utility grid because the entire system is offline. With microinverters, the warranty comes with a 25 years of coverage right out of the box. Now, the same shipment and waiting hassles still play a role in the whole endeavor. However, because microinverters function individually of one another, only one panel attached to the failed inverter will be offline. That means the rest of the system is functioning and producing electricity. Sure, you may be out a few kilowatt hours, but it's a drop in the bucket compared to the rest of the online system. I'm no Jerry Rice, but here's a really big catch. Inverter warranties do not include labor costs. That's a definite downside to microinverters because you may pay for multiple trips out to the house if several inverters fail over time versus only having one or two string inverters. The other thing people want to learn more about when making an inverter choice is expansion capacity in the future. With a string inverter, you're tied down to your choice from the get-go. You see what I did there? 
This is because the inverter is designed with the specifics at the time of installation, leaving you very little room for future changes. An optimized string inverter gives you some flexibility because the power optimizers allow each panel to work individually. However, you're still tied to the inverter size at the installation time. You can easily add one or multiple panels with microinverters since each panel has its own microinverter attached to it. This brings us to cost, which is probably the number one question on people's minds. The more affordable option will always be a string inverter, followed by an optimized string inverter, with the most expensive being microinverters. If you're considering a smaller system size ranging from 8 to 14 panels, you may not notice a difference in cost between a string inverter and a microinverter system. However, you'll notice a difference the more panels you install. To give you some idea, the cost difference may be about 15 cents per watt depending on the microinverter model, which on a 4 kilowatt system would only be about $600 versus $2400 on a 16 kilowatt system. Here's the question very few people ask, which in my opinion trumps all the other comparison points. How compatible is X inverter with Y panels? If your solar panels are not correctly paired with a suitable inverter, you may not get your money's worth. By this, I mean the solar panel's wattage should closely align with the inverter's max capacity. In other words, you wouldn't pay for 12 gallons of gasoline if your tank only fit 10 gallons, right? So why would you pay for a 400 watt panel if the inverter is only capable of 250 watts? Doing so would cause significant clipping. You can watch a video here on solar panel clipping and how it may or may not affect you because the installation details play a role in solar panel and inverter compatibility. These comparison points stem from frequently asked questions regarding inverters, but the fact is that a suitable solar inverter depends more on you and your house than what any spec sheet or sales guy says. Like beauty is in the eye of the beholder, the correct solar inverter for you will be dictated by what you want and what your house or solar installation site calls for. A simple string inverter is an excellent option if your solar panels are all placed on a single roof facing one direction with minimal to no shading. However, if your system size calls for other roof areas facing in different directions or with shade considerations, a string inverter may not be the best option. Suppose you have a very difficult to access roof or made of very fragile materials like clay tiles. In that case, you may not be inclined to choose a microinverter because walking on the roof to replace an inverter may cause damage to the tiles. And with multiple inverters, that's additional potential for foot traffic. Or suppose you have a very large system. In that case, especially if it is easily accessible like a ground mounted system, you may favor a string inverter because you'll save a pretty penny and swapping the inverter would be easily done since it's installed on the ground level. But suppose you're the kind of person who cares about redundancy and reliability, especially living in a place with a high cost of electricity. In that case, a microinverter solution may be your cup of tea since a failed microinverter or two would not compromise the rest of your solar panel system. Now, there is a school of thought many installers make their hill to die on. Microinverters introduce multiple points of failure. I think that is hogwash and a silly proposition given that I'd rather have a working system with a failed inverter or two than a whole system being offline because the central inverter failed. So then, how easy is it to buy the best solar inverter? I hate to say this, but it's not as easy as you'd like. What makes it easier is working with an organization that will answer your questions and take your wants and needs into consideration and pair you with the right solar installer who is going to be there when, not if, something goes wrong. That's what Drone Quote is known for. What? I had to throw a plug in there somewhere. And here's the simple thing that you could do. None of the things we discussed here matter if you don't monitor your panels. Check out our video on why solar panel monitoring is even more critical than any inverter choice or even the best solar panels. Otherwise, 
Be prepared to spend a lot of money buying power from the grid. Oh, and if you feel we've earned your subscription, please click that subscribe button for additional content.